Greetings, YouTube and fellow Legend of Zelda fans. This is a little video to show you guys how to fix uh, Nintendo's anti-piracy measures on uh, Skyward Sword that's keeping it from running on so many people's USB loaders right now. So, what you need to fix is pretty simple. Um, you can have, I'm pretty sure, whatever USB loader you want. I use WeFlow personally. Um, but you're going to have to install a couple custom iOS's before you can play Zelda. Normally it'll just loop you back to the Wii menu screen. So what you're going to have to do is go into the video description and I'll have a link to this file. Um, this file is posted by me so it's safe. Uh, it's got seven WAD files in it. Once you download it uh, it's password protected. The password is my YouTube username. Um, once you unzip it, it's just going to have a file called WAD. Now, you should already have a WAD folder on your SD card uh, if you're using Homebrew Channel at all. So, so what you're going to have to do is grab these seven files and drag them into the WAD folder on your SD card. If you don't already have a WAD folder, well, just make one. Uh, you'll also need a WAD installer. I'm pretty sure any version works just fine. I'm using version 1.4 and I'm pretty sure that's an old version. But uh, I haven't ever had a need to update it, so I never did. So now I'm going to transfer over to the Wii and show you everything that you need to do over there. Okay, so here we are with the Wii now. Uh, you're just going to want to go to the Homebrew channel. And of course you have to make sure that you do have a WAD installer on your channel. Uh, I'll post information on how to download Wii Flow, which I use, and a WAD installer in the description. So you're just going to find your WAD manager in the Homebrew channel, load it, and here's what mine looks like. This is version 1.4. Uh, it may be a little different. Go ahead and put in your appropriate response to that. And here it'll ask you which iOS version you want to use. Uh, usually iOS 249 is the best one to use for this. Press the A button and now it's asking you for the source, the SD slot of course. And here is everything that was in the WAD folder on the SD card. So what you're gonna have to do is you see a little arrow, just press A and press A again here to start the installation process. It only takes a couple seconds and once that's done you go back, you'll be brought back here and then you just do the next one on the list and do that over and over until you have installed all of them. Then what you're gonna do is press B to come back to this and press home to restart the Wii or bring you back here. That's cool too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up WeFlow now. Now before you get this to work, because it is a Wii Motion Plus game, uh, if you haven't played a Wii Motion Plus game before on your system, it's going to be a little screwed up. And for some reason, uh, I have already played a... Oh boy, that's loud. Um, I have already played a Wii Motion Plus game, and I still had this problem. But what you're going to have to do is go into Settings, and they'll ask you right here, DOL option. And it has Main DOL is the default. You're going to have to arrow over to Player.DOL, and then hit back, and run the game. Uh, this, for some reason, 
bypasses the video problem and then once you're done with that um, it'll say thank you for your purchase blah 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 and then it'll just reset the Wii again which is fine what you do is when the Wii turns back on set this back to main.dol press back and you should be able to play it just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Yeah, that's some scary shit. And there you go, Skyward Sword, working on Wii Flow. So, I hope this guy's... The <laughs> I hope this video helps you guys out. And, uh, you know, happy gaming, y'all. Have fun.